Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So, pretty big plans for this episode, but I guess we'll start with a bit of a bit of an announcement, I suppose. A few episodes ago, we uh, did a bit of a giveaway to celebrate the birthday of the channel and also reaching 6000 subscribers. So, I guess it's time to announce the winners. I I thought I might just do a like a post on a community post on YouTube to announce it there, but hey, I know you guys will be watching the video anyway, so so yeah, let's let's do it in this video. After reading through all those comments, there were some pretty cool ideas and some of them will definitely be implemented in this uh, this colony as well with a few ideas. I'm still kind of struggling to understand exactly what the uh, what the comment meant. But yeah, there was lots of great ones. So the winners of the giveaway are Kuist, we've got Bikini Pro, Ogre Crusher and Trent M. So thank you very much for dropping those comments and please get in touch with me via Discord as soon as you can so then I can give you the keys for the for the game as well. There is also a, another special winner that I just decided to add on because this man's been so super helpful ever since he first subscribed to the channel. As soon as I opened Discord he was on board, he was always offering help but also been commenting all, on all those videos here as well and offering some great ideas. So the special one will go to the good looking gamer. Thank you so much for being so helpful throughout the I think it's been like past five months I suppose yeah thank you so much again and uh yeah I'll text you because you're I know you're already on on discord so so yeah all right let's get to the episode let's have a look what are some of the plans that we want to do I'll have to pull out my notes real quick oh actually before we do that I do want to highlight some of the really cool build ideas that uh, got me quite inspired so um i think one of them uh, was from ogre and the trend about this lake and the moat over here so what my plan initially was to do let me see if i can find it get one of those mechanical pumps and pump the water from the reservoir into this moat so with uh, their comments what i've decided now is i think we're gonna block this section off here with uh, with a levee and make it a one-way canal so then all the output will run back into this lake. I don't know if any of those uh, water wheels will work in here. I don't suppose they will, but if they do, I might add just a couple in. A little bit of extra power and uh, we'll keep this area green. And yeah, that's what we'll do. Then um, I think it was the good looking gamer that had a pretty fantastic idea as well, where we'll build kind of like a forestry area. I mean, we do have a couple. But in the middle there could be some sort of like a landmark that uh, is definitely a lot higher than the forest itself. Uh, yeah, so that was that. I'm trying to remember what else did we, did we have here. Oh yeah, we had the amusement park idea or the theme park. And that one was from Bikini Pro. Honestly, dude, you're always dropping some pretty, pretty great ideas, so... We'll definitely do a bit of a theme park as well, since we do have a few more buildings that we can use for that. And that really quite aligns with my plans as well, especially in this massive lake district over here. And uh, once we get far enough to fill this lake, I think this will be a wonderful er uh, area where we can do this theme park. Whether it's on the island here or, or just on the coast, I do not know that yet, or maybe a bit of both. And uh, yeah, definitely we'll be doing that as well. For this episode, let's jump into the ideas that I'd like to start or yeah, I'd like to start. Right, so this area is taking a little bit longer, but we're almost there. Uh, what I want to do is I think they've already started building a couple of levees and things in here. So let me just um, bring this uh, plans up again. So a bit of a bridge to cross over. I'll resume the time real quick so they can just carry on with the construction i'm gonna try and have a straight road that goes through yeah i don't know just yet if i have to move those water pumps a little bit i really want to make this whole area a little bit bigger so i think i have convinced myself that dynamiting around the ruins here could be a great option what happened just now oh they've completed constructing that yeah i don't want to get rid of those ruins I do want them to sort of stick around, yeah, around this area here, I think. 
Uh, it just, um, you know, makes this area look a little bit more unique in a way. And uh, yeah, so once they finish constructing all those, actually, we should unpause them now. Uh, ooh. Let's do this. And voila. We have the whole... Uh, never mind. I was about to say this whole area is now complete, but it seems there's still a couple of dynamites we need, but... Well, it is pretty much done. I mean, it's taken us a very long time. But now, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, I'm just really happy that we've got this big reservoir here. Top one's almost done as well. And now, we're, we're not going to deepen it any further just yet. However, I think in the future, we might... We might drop off a couple more levels, maybe... And uh, I, I don't know, it just really depends how our water management is going to go. But making this lake a little bit bigger, 100% convinced to do that. Um, we'll go all the way up to the ruins. On this side, I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe we'll drop it a bit more. Maybe, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, right now the goal is to get this bridge done, really. And once it's done, we can bring those dynamites from uh, our mountaintop area into into this furthest lake and maybe just get it done a little bit quicker. Let's have a look. Whilst that is happening, uh, I've done a little bit of off-camera work, but there was just a minor things around the area. Let me just speed up the time as well because it's night time. Now, when it comes to the moat, I think we're going to widen it by one like all around or mostly almost all all the way around and the main reason for that is it's just when we build those large windmills and we want to have the power shaft that connects uh, different levels i think uh, yeah it's gonna give us a little bit more space to to place them down here i know we could use some buildings as well but i kind of want to use those shafts because you know they're in the game and i sort of like them then uh, let me just slow it down one more time. Yeah, so all the way around, perhaps, maybe. Then I think I've debunked something. It seems the trees do not expand to the lower levels. I'll give it another try. Maybe we'll set up another. Uh, let's have a look. Where can we do it? Maybe here. Forrester. Let's uh, slap you down right over there. Another platform will connect you up and uh, I'll do the same test but slightly differently. So we'll put those pine trees here and we'll see if they can spread upwards. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is I cannot remember who but someone on Reddit posted that oh yeah this is 100% works. You can uh, put the pines on a mountain and they will go up and down naturally but this has been quite a few episodes already, many days, maybe a few cycles and nothing's happened here so the, that's definitely not working is what i'm trying to say moving on now we are also dynamiting this area in here i want those uh, those um oh it is dry very dry not good uh <laughs> do we have enough water here no we don't this one's empty as well well great Okay, can we send some more water through? Maybe not. No. A uh, bit of a bummer. Well, 6.7 days. I guess maybe this will be enough. Uh, that probably means we should not detonate those dynamites just yet. But uh, yeah, okay, we'll leave it then. You seem to be starting to dry up here as well, so how about we'll set up another water dump i'm getting distracted very easily so let's jump back in here two reasons why we're deepening this area one is just to keep a little bit of water and maybe the, some of the surrounding areas green for a little bit longer and secondly i am slowly starting to bring out and uh, copy how we did it on the on the other side uh, let me see if i can bring a few levels down as well yeah, we're going to have a couple more underground warehouses on this side of the hill. So that's going to take a few extra dynamites. But do you know what? It's fine because this area is almost done. Why are you not building those? Oh, out of range. Well, not to worry. We'll bring those roads over there. How about now? Can you reach? Yes, you can. So that's great. Let's, um, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, 
I have just realized they will not be able to... Mm. Uh, okay, we are gonna need some stairs, so that... Oh, yeah, painful. It's alright. Let's, um... This should do. And now we'll bring it down. Am I sure? Yeah, I am sure, I think. Yep, okay. Yeah, I managed to convince myself. So, one here. There. A lot of wasted blanks and things, but if we check real quick... Oh, wait, no, we have lots of blanks. Yep, we're all good. So a few more staircases, and now they should be able to pretty much build everything, I think. Yeah, let's get these done as well. Uh, all right, wonderful. Carry on, beavers. Let's speed up the time just a little bit. Really want to get this bridge project done in, in this episode. I'm sure we will be able to get... No, oh, that's all the water gone now. Uh, I mean, I think in this district we just have too much wheat anyways, and we're not making bread just yet. This reminds me actually, I did do another crisp melon here because it seemed like we were running out of bread and flour and those. Yeah, okay, so two of them for one of you. It should be, it should be sufficient. Now, let's hide the water again. Okay, they don't have the dynamites to place them down there. And I think the other small things that I did was just expanding the forest a little bit. Okay, you're all dead now, right? Yep, tried out and dead. Um, can you please keep cutting down everything? Yes, you seem to be. And I suppose once a few of those trees are gone, then I'll put a few more of those lumberjack flags in here as well, just to increase our lumber numbers. Yeah, that sounded beautiful. Okay. How are we going, guys? Just doing the stairs. Beautiful. Okay, keep going. Couple more. Maybe this one could be done as well. Should have loads of metal. Where is it? 242. How about in this district? Ah, oh, still 50. Okay. Yep, that should be fine then. And blanks as well. We're beautiful, so... That should be all good. We just want to have these couple of dynamites so we can put stairs in here. Okay. Good, well done beavers. There was a comment on one of the episodes about this section here and how we should make it a little bit wider and I totally agree. I think uh, it's actually pretty pretty good idea to maybe even take this whole section out here so it kind of looks like it's um, more natural and uh, you know it's always kind of being connected to this little river system and then it just flows out and with this section here, I have a similar feeling that maybe it would be great to take this section out. Now, I know, 14, 15, or maybe less episodes ago, I did say that I don't really want to, you know, destroy the sort of the natural habitat or what it, what the map looks like. Uh, now I'm st slowly starting to feel that there are a few sections where I do want to uh, slap a few, a few of those dynamites down, so... Yeah, um, I, I, I think it's going to happen because it just makes sense, especially in these sections here. It would be great to connect them up and with all this water, maybe this water doesn't go this way. Maybe we could change the flows so that it only goes through this canal here. And then, I don't know, maybe it connects to this, this one or, or elsewhere. Or maybe it's a dead end. Who knows? Right. Now... Beaver numbers, okay, we're pretty good. I am thinking, so you're full of blanks already, and there's a lot of logs in here. Ooh. We could send those beavers over. We should, and we shall send those beavers over. Yeah, let's get that done tomorrow. And there was a great comment as well. And the micromanagement of sending beavers from the mountaintop area to the uh, little remote or satellite district here was just crazy micro. And I agree. Maybe maybe we should have uh, put down a bit of a, um, a temporary... What are they called again? Let's go. Distribution post and the drop-off point. This would have made things much more easier. Maybe a few houses as well, so they can live there for a couple of days. And actually, that's not a bad idea. Why don't we just do it? 
Yeah. So let's do one, two. That's six builders. We want nine builders. Let's let's do that. And then distribution. Maybe somewhere here. And drop it off there. Okay, what's your problem? No routes. Oh. Wait a second. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's... No. Okay. A little bit confused. No, 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 no. We're, we're gonna have to do it here. Right, the gate will go there. You're connected up now. And... Oh, there we go. Now we should be good. Beautiful. And another mention was not enough beavers in this district. So let's fix that as well real quick. And which one should we do? Let's just keep the smaller ones for now because they only take a few logs. And yeah, we'll do one there. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, one, six beavers. Uh, maybe we'll go a bit more. I mean, we can always just move them to the next district and... Um, you know, got it down a little bit. Right, so that's moving now. Construction is happening pretty nicely here, and we should have a few builders. About eight. How many haulers do we have? Couple as well. Hmm. We shall take out... Ooh, okay. What's more important? The other side or this side? Four of those builders. Right. Yep. Maybe we'll make some more beavers. Yep, let's do that. And now, where are the rest of you working? We already have quite a few planks, so how about we pause that as well? And now... How many did we, did we want to migrate? That, that was nine, but how about we start with six? Yeah, let's do that. We'll unpause you. There's gonna be four working there. Same in here. And... Okay, off we go. This should be highest of priorities. Get this built. And then we'll start exporting... Ooh. Maybe we should just pump our own water here. Uh, but it's now turning into an... Hmm. No. Let's not pump our own water. Let's get these ones done. Where are the beavers? Oh, they're going over now. Okay, fantastic. Get this one done as well. As soon as it's done, we'll definitely have someone working here at all times. And we do have a few unemployed, so which district is that? It cannot be this one. Okay, it is not. So how about these two migrate? We'll send them to the first district. And they've already got jobs. Okay, great. What are they working as? Maybe we'll have less builders. No, we've got quite a few haulers though. Okay, so this one's full now. Yeah, maybe we'll pause just one of them. And, oh, you are done, which is fantastic. We'll keep two in here. Let's do the highest. And what we shall send over is... Let's see, water. And maybe some potatoes as well. Krill potatoes are right over here, so let's do that. And what we'd also like to do is... District limitations... So, where are grilled potatoes? We don't really need that many. Let's do 30 of those. Maybe bread as well. Let's do 30. And then water. I think we'll be fine with 50. Yeah, let's do that. Do you still have grilled? Yeah, you have all, all of those things. Great. I hope you shall start bringing some goodies in here very soon as well. And maybe we'll... Make sure it's prioritized by others. Unemployed 3. Where are you guys? Do we have some... Oh, okay, there we go. Well, why don't we send another couple over to that district? Still one more. Okay, okay. And the rest of you... Well, let's just leave him be for the time being. Can we please get this done? Oh, they're constructing all that. No, you're gonna need houses. There you go. Mm, and now you've got nowhere to sleep. Well, that wasn't very smart now, was it? <sighs> okay. Let's put a third one in here, actually. Maybe we can get things moved around a little bit quicker. Oh, they don't have any food. Fine. We'll send you back just tonight. 
Let's see, five, six. Okay, there you go. And tomorrow we'll try and fill it up a little bit with some resources. Once that is done, we'll be good, I think. Yeah, okay. Now let's check on the progress for the uh, slightly bigger project here as well. We've got one bridge in and they are now building this one. Right, so that's almost done. That's awesome. Okay, well, there we go. Get this one done. Do we have enough metal in here? Yes, we do. Okay. Food seems to be coming in, so now it should be safe to send those beavers back into here. Off you go. Please get this one built first. Get some houses so you can sleep somewhere nice and safe. Now um, we still have to take you out as well, don't we? Yes, we do. Do a couple more roads. Okay, here it goes. Uh, they've done another dam, which is great. And one even here. This is still in range. Okay. Happy days. Got one of the houses done. Second one is almost complete. Food and water is here. Yep, these guys will be will be very pleased. Now, isn't this the highest priority? Now it is. Okay. What are you doing? Just exhaust it. Okay, fine. I mean, there are a couple of houses here, but 2.5 days. These three are fine. Some of those crops might die, but, uh, hmm, yeah. Might have to figure something out how we can keep more water around this area, really. I mean, dropping this by another level was definitely part of the plans. Let's have a look. Okay, we'll put a couple in. Oh, we've got another road here. Let's get rid of that one. And yeah, just as many dynamites as we can. Almost all the way around. Okay, beautiful. Let's leave them be for now. Slightly uh, lower priority for that is the next bridge done. Well, it almost is. And because this is on a natural tile already, we should be able to construct the last link as well. Yeah, they just need to fill in a couple more. Oh, you're not able to build these guys. Oh, well, that's annoying, isn't it? Um, <laughs> fine, we can put a few more stairs just to help us out a little bit. And the range seems to be pretty good as well. So happy days. Right, water level. Why don't we just drop it all into that tank over there? I mean, it's only, only two days left, so it's, it's, it's all good. You can probably go. What's this here? Oh, no one can reach you. Uh, it's okay for now. What could help us, though? Let's see what happens if we send you through. Oh, 1.5. And I think we would like to have a few more dynamites in a few of those areas. Yep, that seems good. You probably have to climb down. So a couple of stairs right over there as well. Uh, you've done this section, so you can just get out and planting area there we go let's hope they start spreading out a little bit actually do you know what we should not let him go just yet there's a few more trees you could plant for us beautiful how are we going here guys what are you why are you sleeping here there's literally houses for you guys uh six out of six yeah we should have sleeping spots for everyone Highest priority for you and the road shall be clear now. Can we take it down? Oh, another thing we could probably do is here. We could just cut all those trees down instead of deleting them. Yeah, let's do that. Let's set you up like so. You're still building them ones. Yeah, okay. You don't want to take this one down. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Lots of trees and maples around this area, so we could probably harvest a bit more. But I mean, in the other two districts, districts as well, we do have quite some, quite a few of them, so it shouldn't be a problem. One is down. Demolish the next one. Let's give you the highest priority, and we'll connect you up with the road. I kind of want to make it straight, actually. Oh, straight will be from here. Uh, it's okay. You should still able. To be able to reach those right oh it runs out right about there 
Ah, interesting. Very interesting indeed. Well, as long as we can get those dams done, I'm I'm happy. I think, yeah. Oh, it's probably the distance they have to run. It's it's very far away and they can barely get any time to rest. So, and why are you sleeping on the road? Houses are literally next to you. Ah, some of those beavers. Alright, beaver numbers seem to be going up, is it, in this district? Only five kids, but three unemployed. Okay, you've got four kids. Decent. Now, <laughs> have you... No, you still haven't harvested them, them ones. You are within the range, though. What are these? Maples? No, chestnuts. Okay, good. Another bridge section is complete. One more link. Just the middle blocks left, and we got plenty in, in our district as well. Things are looking beautiful, I mean, except our water situation. Oh, I've just remembered there is another thing that I have uh, shown you. So, with this... Uh, water. With this area, I want to take those littles out from here and put a couple of trees, maybe a bit of a relaxation zone with some benches and uh, things like that. Same maybe next to here, mostly trees probably actually. And um, I think the entertainment for the mountaintop district will, I guess, probably be like by the riverbank here. Yeah. And then by the cliffs we'll have more trees and a bit of, bit of forested area. But the first step will be, of course, to fix the water situation. Now, I have mentioned it so many times, but this district center... As soon as we've done all the dynamites in this area, that's when we'll move it. And here comes the mighty, almighty water. Beautiful. You can go. I think you can go as well. Yep. And you. Okay, good. Bring the road through. I think we'll start by having it open. Yeah, let's do that. Dynamite in place. Wonderful. Let's go up. And this way. Good. And now they can start helping out. Let's see the range again. Oh, they've got pretty good range actually. So yeah, let's um, bring it this way. And maybe they can help out with a few. If not, we can always bring it the stairs down as well, I suppose. Now what should we... Should we also deepen these smaller rivers and lakes in here? That I don't know. Maybe uh, how many water sources? We've got four over there. So we could widen this just a tiny bit and put a few flood gates in place. Uh, yeah, okay. Very nice indeed. So the bridge system is finally complete. We have achieved what we did want to achieve in this episode. And lots of minor minor updates here and there as well. And I guess this is, in, in some ways, it's no longer like a, t a temporary district anymore. There are houses, they've got food, so it's uh, semi permanent i suppose so yeah i think that's gonna be it for this episode thank you so much for joining hope you had fun and i'll see you in the next one